All right, y'all, so I have a message for you today from Higher Self. This message is going to be pertaining to a situation you could be going through. And the answers or the message that comes through is from your Higher Self to help you make the best decision for yourself. So bottom of the deck is the Death card, Scorpio Energy, Six of Swords Reverse, and a Wheel of Fortune. Listen, I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what's happening. But I will tell you, it's never going to get better if you don't let it fucking end. Period. It's never going to get better. Death card is about transformation. It needs to end so that something can be rebirthed. Doesn't mean the situation needs to be rebirthed. It can mean something inside of you needs to be rebirthed. But with the Six of Swords back to reverse and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, it's never going to get better until you let it end. All right, Spirit, what's your message from higher self? All right, the first one is the Five of Swords. Why do you want to win at all costs? Why? What's the prize, right? Six of Swords. It's, you're never going to win. Six of Swords reverse. It's always going to be... It's always going to be disharmony. It's always going to be conflict. It's always going to be chaos. It's always going to be this way. So what are you trying to win? Strength card, Leo energy. Find your strength. You are strong. You are brave. Now is the time to do just that. Hold back on whatever it is that you are trying to... It seems like you're trying to make something work. Stop. It's never going to work. Take the L. It might not be an easy L to take, but take it. Stop trying to win at all costs. Page of Pentacles, Moon card reverse, and a nine of and a nine of wands. So some information came out. You found something out. The illusion has been removed. You can see the truth now. With the Page of Pentacles here, I feel like somebody probably called you, messaged you, texted you, whatever. You found out. And with the nine of wands, look at you. You still standing. You done been through the fire, and you're still standing. You're brave enough to let this go. Ward, bottom of the deck is water, ace, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Again with the Scorpio energy. Mercury, message of travel, communication. That's Gemini and Virgo. And then we have rejection, loss, and fragmented at the bottom. Hmm. So I guess this was a loss, huh? I guess this was a loss. So we're going to clarify the five of swords. Celebration, gifts, and abundance. Family, home, commitment, growth, and summer. Okay, so I feel like you're trying to fight for, like, you're trying to fight for growth in this commitment. You're trying to fight for, you know, that abundance. You you want that. You want it. But the issue is, baby, it, at what cost? At what cost? Okay? You're already abundant. You're already, you. it's your ego stopping you. Feminine. This could be for a feminine. You're, first of all, you're already abundant. You're feminine. You just need to let go of the things holding you back from experiencing your abundance. The things blocking your abundance. So we're clarify the six of swords reverse. There goes that Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy again. Attraction and Mars. Let's go to part 